there, Super Conscious Success fam. Welcome back to another episode. I hope that you've checked out the episode on the power of ascension because I think that's going to give you a really good insight, a really good introduction into what ascension actually is. Now, in this particular little snippet episode, I'm actually going to go through um, some steps that you can actually take. And this is just a brief overview of some steps you can start to take to head towards your own ascension, to start on your own ascension journey. Obviously, there is a lot more to it, but it's going to allow you to get started. Now, one person's journey of ascension is actually going to be completely different to somebody else's. So in this particular episode, I'm going to go through a number of strategies that you may find useful to help you begin your ascension process. So let's start off. Step number one. So the first thing I want you to do is to start setting the intention that you are ready and you are willing to grow and to evolve and possibly even set a specific goal for your spiritual practice. Now, when I first started this, I had to dig deep and think about the reason why I wanted to, to spiritually ascend. What was my motivation to do so? And so my initial goal was to learn to connect deeply and to channel with my higher self so that my messages and the downloads would actually lead me towards my highest purpose. Now, in the meantime, um, as a result of all of this, yes, I have been able to get to the point where I'm receiving the downloads from my higher self without even thinking about it and I'm able to channel and but now I'm actually in the place where it's not just my higher self that I can connect with I connect with my angels and I connect with other higher beings as well but I'm still on that journey of discovering the true channeling and this is something that I'm really um, delving into at this place in time because the ascension journey is an ongoing process it's not something that you do once and then that's it no we continue to evolve we continue to awaken and we continue to learn and we learn as we learn more and more we start to evolve up the higher dimensions so that's step number one is to figure out what is your purpose for wanting to start to ascend set that intention that you are actually going to achieve that now, step number two is to start to connect with that inner self, so also known as the higher self. Now, the inner self is an incredibly important part of your spiritual ascension because it enables you to access that intuition or those downloads that I was telling you about and your inner wisdom. Now, in order to access your higher self, you can do things like journaling and meditation and mindfulness and just sitting in quiet and seeing what messages come to you. And... Uh, my friend Eleni and myself were actually creating the uh, the program, the membership, I should say, called Higher Self Mastery. And this is a package that you can actually um, become involved in as a membership where we will actually continue to help you to connect with our higher self to the point where you're actually starting to be able to channel and be able to channel with other beings as well. So this is a super, super exciting uh, thing that we've got coming up. These are all going to be available in June, by the way, and possibly even earlier. So make sure you do sign up for the superconsciousaccess.com inner circle. It's absolutely free because I'll notify you as each course becomes available. Step number three. So releasing negative patterns such as fear and self-doubt and and also attachments of, of the material possessions is now super, super important. Now, I did mention in the last episode about how we can become attached to people in our lives as well as the things that are around us. And that as long as we hold ourselves attached to, the, to these people, especially toxic people, then it actually blocks us from being able to, to move on. Um, now, cutting cords from these sort of relationships can be really important. You know, cutting the soul contracts, if the, if you're in a soul contract. I was in a very painful karmic uh, contract for a lot of years. And thankfully, that is all over now. And so I'm actually free and I am able to continue to move on with all the lessons that I was supposed to learn, the lessons of powering up with me being a a self-proclaimed um, codependent for many, many years due to many things that happened. Um, I learned to power up and to stop that codependency. And so I really dug deep into my shadow side. I really dug deep into my inner work to recognize what was going on. I powered up and thankfully I have an incredible husband and great kids that have supported me throughout the whole process. But until you release yourself from these negative patterns and these negative 
people that are around you it's going to be very difficult for you to reach that ascension because you're not going to be able to move yourself to those higher vibrations and believe me i know from experience now so after undertake step number four is after undertaking journaling and meditation so as to release these negative patterns it's time to start practicing two of the most important things that you can practice on your journey of spiritual ascension the first thing is gratitude so gratitude is a powerful powerful thing that can shift your perspective from scarcity to abundance and also help you to begin to see the blessings that you have in your life it's important that on a daily basis you start to self-reflect on what you're grateful for and cultivate a sense of appreciation for the present moment now one of the things that can really help you with this is that of compassion it's that of helping other people of of seeing where other people are coming from and showing them that compassion volunteering if you need to but but really having compassion for those that are going through different situations in their life and recognizing not judging but recognizing they've got their own journey and that they're they're on their path to fulfilling that send them lots of love and light as as i do now it is a difficult place to be but um by the by the time you're really on your ascension journey that that level of judgment will actually dissipate so it's really important at this point in time, you're practicing your gratitude, you're practicing your compassion. You need to let go of the past, release the past, stop focusing on the future. You can dream big and know exactly where you're going and envision where you're going, but stop worrying about the future because the future will take care of itself based on where you are in the present. And that takes us to step number five, where we're going to talk about mindfulness so mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment without any judgment and without any distraction. By being mindful and cultivating this sense of awareness, you can actually start to hear the messages from both your higher self and you can also start to move towards your, your, your own purpose, your ultimate purpose, not to mention seeing the whole world in a completely different light. Now, being mindful is a massive part of my life. I have a very busy life. I have my business here. I have subconscious success, but I also work a couple of days outside of the home with my husband working in a science laboratory because I am actually a naturopath by trade um, before I became a spiritual life coach and I started on my ascension journey. And so I have that, plus I have two teenagers who I love dearly, um, my husband, two dogs. I've got lots and lots on my plate, but mindfulness is so incredibly important. And so I make sure that I incorporate it into every day. So if I'm doing the dishes, then I'm appreciating the experience of it. I'm feeling the dishes, I'm washing it. I'm appreciating the, the bubbles that are, are on the plate as I'm washing it. At the same time, because I am mindful, I start to get downloads from my higher self as to the next step on my journey. The same when I'm doing the washing, same when I'm doing the laundry, and especially powerful when I'm in the car. So when I'm driving, if I'm driving with the kids or with my husband, then they like to have the music on. But if I'm driving by myself, then I may have the music on until I kind of get this tap on the shoulder or this, this knowing that I need to turn it off. And so I'll turn it off and all of a sudden these downloads will start flooding in. So source and your higher self will give you little little snippets of, okay, you've got to listen to me right now. Start hearing those messages. Start seeing those things appearing. Um, and this is part of what I'm really hoping to help you with. Now, step number six is to be open to new experiences and also new opportunities because spiritual ascension is about exploring new possibilities. It's about being open to everything that is coming to you. It's about trusting in source and, and also the universe to support you and to look after you and to bring the opportunities that align with you to the forefront. It's important that you be willing to take risks, to try new things and to step outside of your comfort zone in order to grow and to evolve. Now, I'm not sure if you hear them outside um, my door as I'm recording this, but if you listen really closely, you might be able to hear some incredible birds and they're chirping outside and we've got these beautiful white cockatoos and as I'm lying in bed and I have my window open and I look outside and I, I feel it must be at least 150 white cockatoos all flying together um, in a pack going past. It's kind of like their little morning hello. And we have such great bird life around our house. 
and they're forever dropping feathers for me and sending me messages because the birds are the highest um the highest spiritual being um that sends us messages and so i have the crows i have the white cockatoos i have the little um well honey honey eaters but you know they're kind of like the um hummingbirds but the australian version and so you know look at all of those different signs that come to you this is all stuff that i have within my program activating your ascension as well as a whole host of other ones that i'm going to be putting on the academy very shortly so be open to any new experiences and opportunities that are coming to you be willing to take risks, be willing to try new things and to step outside of that comfort zone because this is really important when it comes to your growth and to your involvement. If you are scared of getting up on stage, then get up on stage because that's going to help you to grow and to evolve. Step number seven is super important and this is figuring out your purpose. Purpose is a really important part of Ascension because it gives us a sense of direction and meaning in our lives. It's time now to reflect on what you're passionate about and what your purpose is so as to how you can contribute to the world what is the legacy that you're going to leave for this world and then finally step number eight look out for teachers and mentors that might be able to help you on your ascension journey it will make it a lot easier you'll be able to find access to meditations and and this is why i'm getting all of this stuff together for you so you've got the support there's there's so much on um offer not just with me, but with so many other people out there. There's some great coaches out there that are willing to help you on your ascension journey. So if you need help, then then reach out and get help to, to help you through this process, through this ascension process, to be your support system for that. Because there can be turbulent times, but at the end of it, boy, are you going to feel amazing. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. I hope you've really enjoyed this this podcast episode and I look forward to bringing you another one very shortly. And in the meantime, start looking at these steps and start putting them into practice and start to move on towards your own spiritual ascension. Okay, thanks so much for joining me, Superconscious Success Fan, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.